Well, hello everyone. Welcome to PBM Bending. Well, today <clears throat> I bring good news. Experiment number two is a big success. For those of you that haven't been watching our series, let me bring you up to speed. Experiment number one was I put a 50 cent single head machine in a hotel and put gumballs in there and it did really well because my I had a theory and the theory was that a parent is not going to tell their kid no because something costs 50 cents instead of it cost a quarter and so I wanted to prove that and I think I did but you could have said and I did say, well, I didn't have any history with that account, so nobody there knew the difference. So then I thought, okay, so let's try it again, only with a different place. So I ordered another 50 cent gumball machine. They got the order right this time. Um, but anyway, and I was going to wait and put it in another place, and then I decided, you know, I've got a little restaurant that I have, uh, I mean, where I have a machine placed, and it's a Hawaiian barbecue place, and it doesn't, it never has done good, but I have an emotional attachment to this place because it was my first machine placement. And I'd say each time we went in there, there was between five and ten bucks. And I thought, I mean, it wasn't the worst on my route, trust me. Uh, which I have weeded those out, and then we finally gave away the route, which, by the way, she, the person who took that route over, she's doing great. Um, she's She sold a bunch of machines and uh, banked some money and collected another two or three hundred dollars from the machines that were already there and she's not done with the route yet so she's doing well but anyway I digress so I thought well what I had in there was uh, M&Ms for 25 cents and a single head machine so I thought well I mean what's the worst thing that's gonna happen I want to put 50 cent gumballs in there we're gonna do worse than five dollars really so I, the last collection day I went in there and I it had been about a year and I told the guy behind the counter I said hey it's been about a year I'm gonna pull this machine take it home clean it and, uh, and I'm gonna put in a new machine here and put you some different candy in there we'll try something new and he said okay so I put the 50 cent gumball machine in there and I just got back from collections oh and when we did the experiment, I said on camera, well, how will we measure if it's a success or not? And I said, well, we've been doing between five and ten bucks. So if we do ten bucks, it'll be okay. I said, but if it does fifteen dollars, we're going to we're going to call that a big success. So I went in today, did collection and the amount in that machine was. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. So I was thinking about that on the way home and I thought, okay, so when we had a quarter machine, we did around 10 bucks. So I doubled it to a 50 cent machine and we got 20 bucks, which I think proves my theory perfectly. People are not going to tell their children no because something cost 50 cents instead of a quarter. So I think I'm very pleased with this route. I, I would have done almost anything to make this route work. And for those of you that like to do math, I want you I want I want to tell you this. In the two fifty cent gumball machines, they're both single head machines, okay? Each one of them today did twenty bucks. And I didn't replace gumballs in either one of them. So from two machines, I made 40 bucks. Now how much does a box of gumballs, 600, I think it's 600 gumballs, cost? 
$23. Okay, $23 for a box of gumballs. I got 40 and I didn't replace any of them. Okay, now, my biggest stop, I have a triple head and a single head in this stop. Um, M&M's, peanut M&M's, Skittles, and gumballs. All for a quarter. Alright? And that, that machine, to, out of all those machines total, all four of them, I got $30. And that's, that's, a, that's a pretty decent stop. And we got, we got it right by the front door of a hotel. So, I mean, we got good placement, we got good machines, uh, $30. The 50 cent single head gumball machines, $20 each. So, I think I'm a little bit more confident now. I've got two more 50 cent machines and I've got three quarter machines. I think the first two two placements I get where there's no competition, like a little restaurant or something, I'm going to use those 50 cent gumball machines. Um, and I may just use 50 cents from here on out as long as the, the problem is, if there's competition in there, I'm just afraid that it'll sit there and do nothing. I might change my mind on that. Uh, the problem with that is, as soon as everybody figures out what I'm doing, they'll all do it, and then I won't be the only one on the block. But for right here and for right now, as far as I know, I'm the only one doing this, and it's paying big time. So, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that our experiment was a success. We're now two for two. And I've got two more machines to place. Now I am not going to jump right back in. I may take another month off before I start building the second route. And I'm going to go slower this time. I'm going to do one a month. And uh, because that's what our budget can do. Because we're doing other things with the ministry this year. But in a period of a year, a year and a half, we ought to be back to where we were. And then we'll give that route away. So, if you want to be considered to be given uh, the route in a year or year and a half, please subscribe to my YouTube account and hit the notification bell so that you know each time we put out a video or any time uh, we have an update on our giveaway or the new route that we're building. Well, you all have a great day. Uh, remember our experiments. Remember the success. And you guys have a great week and happy vending.